Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Um, Gabe said he feels he's learning a lot from you. How do you feel you've made him a better fighter? Uh, or have you helped him out become? We're working really well together and um, we have a lot of good sparring partners. And um, we've, we've, gone through, we've gone through everything together and uh, um, he, he's at his best. and. Uh, I hope I can bring that, bring that out in him. And we'll see. How's the um, sparring with David Benavides from your uh, point of view? Uh, great sparring. They had some really good wars in there. <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah. I have per probably perfect sparring for this fight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Do you feel this is going to be one of your best moments in your career? How are you taking it? I remember you said um, maybe um, taking the moment for granted, not understanding where you're at. Um, how do you feel about this moment? Yeah, man, I just feel like it's, it's exactly why I came to Wildcard and came to Freddy was to get, get on this level again, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, I'm enjoying it because this is this is what we set out to do: fight big fights, memorable, memorable historical fights. And um, you know, when you set out to do something and you put the work in, especially like in times like now, right, where everything's like locked down and shit like that, and you're able to stay focused and and make things come. You know, make them come true. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Freddie, when Gabe came to you, um, what, 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 was, what were his intentions with you? To become a better fighter, to get big fights, to just help you add to his um, arsenal? I, we just clicked together really well, and um, you know, I, I, I like, I love working with, with, with fighters, and and like. And then, like his last fight, he did exactly what I thought he would do. Um, you know, he 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 took a knee for a moment, <laughs> and then when he looked over at me, I knew he was okay. <laughs> and uh, Freddie yeah. said, "Freddie said we can't give him no more no momentum." <laughs> so I got you. How good of a punch was that? He, he, that's what he's known for: knocking yeah. these guys out to the body. Yeah, I mean, but it was just. Like I said, it was just, you know, it was the first round. Mm. It was just a matter of just kind of getting caught cold in the first and just regroup. And that was it. What was his power at compared to but like nine, a, nine out of ten guys ain't getting up from No, yeah, exactly. Punch, that's right? what I mean. Like, so his power compared to like a Gennady or a, is, is it there or is, or is it just because he's bigger or? Uh, yeah, he's a big dude. He's a big dude. I mean, like heavyweight. I mean, and the thing is, it's boxing, bro. Shit happens. <laughs> You just gotta saying? get up and keep fighting. Shit happens. You just gotta be ready for when shit happens. Yeah. Sometimes dudes ain't ready when shit happens. <laughs> and they fold. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? At least you go on a t-shirt. Right? <laughs> you gotta be ready when shit happens. <laughs> when you hit him with that punch, did you know it was a good one? Or you just kind of, you seen it and you uh, I, knew, it? I knew it was over. Because that we worked on that punch. Okay. Freddie called that shot. And that was the shot we was working on in camp. And, um... I mean, we just we executed. Your quick thoughts on Manny Pack, Gabe's retired now, Gabe. Uh, you're working with Freddie, the man who helped him reach all these accolades, eight division world champion, all these people he records. What are your thoughts on Manny Pack and our retirement? No, man, I remember when Pac came to the scene and he upset at Barrera. And I was like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? I've been following him ever since, you know? So, you know, Pac Pacquiao is, um, you know, that name lives forever, you know what I'm saying? You know what he does for his people and his country, he's like, you know, he's like similar to like a Muhammad Ali, you know what I'm saying? He's for the people, you know? And, um, you know, 20, 26 years, it's crazy. Freddie, do you get a boat uh, in the Philippines? Being <laughs> that you're so popular out there, do you get a boat for him? 
I do. He's an honorary citizen. No, I'm, uh, I'm his. A couple years ago, his wife made, made me. Uh, I made you a citizen, right? Uh, <laughs> That's cool. Not a full citizen, but. Dual citizenship? Yes. Uh, Freddie, well, can you reflect on, on Manny that now that he's retired, just maybe your greatest moments or how you felt things uh, have come to a close for him? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we had some great fights and um, you know, we, we fought some great great fighters. It was, it was a lot of fun and uh, I, uh, I, you know, he, um, he has nothing to prove. He, he's, he, he, I, I think he's going to have fun with his retirement and uh, hopefully he'll become president and we'll, we'll see. Um, okay. so did you, do you think the result uh, might have been different? Uh, say like had Spence fought just being with Spence is a little more aggressive maybe would have uh, opened up opportunities for Manny uh, in his last fight or? Uh, possibly but uh, you know what happened happens and uh, it was just um, 